Hi guys, um, I did a shitty lesson for Dream Theater's Pull Me Under in 2012 and I wanted to redo it again in HD with some tabs because it's so win and it just deserves a lot better quality. So let's take a look. Take a look at the first section. I want to slide from 9 to 11 on the third string. And when I get there, I'm going to add that slight semitone bend in and out. After that, I want to jump back to 9 of the third and then roll to 9 of the fourth. And obviously, a gentlemanly vibrato on the 9th of the fourth. You'll notice also when I was doing the solo before, I was standing, you've got to get a little bit of wah involved and a bit of reverb and delay it just makes it a tad more emotional. So, this is what we got one more time. Okay, then I go back to that 11th fret again. It's still a semitone bend, but it's just a little bit more slow and emotional. Okay, after I've brought it down, I want to jump to 9 of the 3rd again. But this time with my middle finger, I'm jumping to 10 of the 4th and giving that a gentlemanly vibrato. So from the top. Okay, after that I've got a full tone bend on 9 of the 3rd string. And then I jump to nine of the first and do a vibrato with that. Now I'm sort of using my pinky and trying to twist my wrist a little bit. It is weird to do um, vibrato with the pinky. So I just sort of get it into place and support that with the ring and then just move my wrist. Okay, then after that we work into this phrase. So it's very legato-y. After I've done the slide in, it's pretty straight. So I want to slide from 9 to 10 of the first string. And then from 10 I pull off to 9, 7. And then when I'm on the second string, I want to play the 10th fret and then pull off 8, 7. Then on the third string, a very similar shape and idea. I'm playing the 9th fret and then pulling off 7, 6. So all together. Okay, and then at the end of that... I want to play 9, 7, 5 on the 4th, so I play the 9 and then pull off 7, 5 and then I slide from the 5 to the 4 and add a slight vibrato. So I'll do that whole legato run again, so pretty much one pick per string. Let's try the whole phrase and then we'll do it again slowly with some tabs. time with some tabs. Okay, let's have a look at the second section. It starts off pretty similarly as the first, but just up an octave. So what I'm doing is a slight bend on 14 of the first string. And then I play 12 of the first and 12 of the second. But that vibrato is a little bit more aggressive than it was the first time. I'm pretty sure it's whammy. So I'm going to be going. And we've still got the same kind of phrasing as the other one. So a slightly longer bend on that semitone from 14 of the first into 12. And then I jump up to 13 of the second and that's where I add another whammy vibrato. So from the top. Okay, then we work into this phrase. So I think of this as four groups of six. So the first one, we play 16 to 12 as a pull off twice. And then I jump to 14 of the second string and then back down to 12 of the first. So it goes, and I want to do two groups of that six in a row. Now the third group of six, all I'm doing is just shuffling that pinky over to 17 and then I've got 17 to 12 as the pull off twice and then the 14 from the second to 12 of the first is the same. So thus far, and then the fourth group is the same as the first, so we're going back to the 16, 12 pull off. So thus far of that little chunk, 
Let's try the whole thing thus far and then we'll look at that final legato run. Okay, now this last bit's pretty cool. I think it's working with like a slight harmonic minor in the key of E. What I want to do is I want to start from 14 of the set, of the first string rather. We're going to go 14, 15, pull off 14, 12. We've got a bit of a sort of, a bit of a rolling thing there and then I go. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing 15, 13, 12 as a pull off. Then I slide to 10. When I get to 10, I want to hammer 12, 13 and then pull off 12, 10, so it'll go. Let's try from the start of the legato thus far. Okay, then I jump to 12th fret of the third string and I wanna play 12 and then pull off 11, nine. Then I slide to eight. And then we're gonna do the same thing like we had before, the slide and then sort of a hammer on and then rolling into a pull off. So after I've slid to eight, I wanna hammer nine, 11 on the third and then pull off nine, eight. So I'll go. Try the whole thing thus far. Okay, then I jump to the fourth string. I should have seven notes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what I'm doing here, I only pluck the first note and then the rest of the, the next six notes are all legato. So I'm playing 10, 9, 7, 9, 10, 9, 7. So just rolling uh, backwards, forwards, then backwards again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take it from the start. Okay, and after that, I want to play, getting a real harmonic minor sound now. I'm playing 10, 9, and then 7 on the, on the fifth string, obviously only picking the first note. Then I slide to 6, a delightful uh, raised 7th there. And then from there, I want to slide from 7 to 9 on the third on the third string just to get a little bit of a delicious resolve and vibrato. So it'll go. Okay, let's try the whole legato run and then we'll do the whole section slowly and then one more time with some tabs. All right, let's take it from the start of the section now. Time with some tabs. And that was the solo to Pull Me Under by Dream Theater. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. I'll catch you real soon.